Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 2019, that's 2019, love reading for you today. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you are appreciating the content that I'm putting out. And I'd like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude. So I want to thank you so much for stopping by and tuning in. Whether you are new or old to this channel, it's absolutely wonderful having you here. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be pinned. No. It will be in the description box below. That's where it will be. It will be in the description box below. It will also have the links to all the cards that I use there. So let's see now, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what August 2019 holds for you with love. Scorpio, August 2019, 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 love. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Oh, fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where Spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, Scorpio, is the Eight of Cups. So at the center of this love reading is an ending. There is an ending that is happening. It can be a mental ending where you're walking away from something mentally that no longer fits you. It, this is also my divorce card, my divorce card. So this, is, this can be an ending. And for a lot of you, it is going to be an ending as severe as a divorce. It is something where you're closing the door, it's done, it's over, and now you're moving on. You have the illumination of the full moon guiding you forward. This can be... This can be an illumination on the past darkness that you have been going through because I'm not saying that you are getting divorced. If you're in a relationship, I don't want you to be worried that you're going to break up. But I am saying here that there is something that's ending within your life and it's going to be as impactful, as severe as a divorce. Right? Now, the full moon can show light coming into the darkness that you've been in. It's a spotlight for the previous lunar cycle. Right? It doesn't have to just be a lunar cycle. It can simply be the darkness that you've been walking in. This is also the sacred feminine walking with you, guiding you, moving you forward as you are embracing your next journey within life, your next steps within this existence after this ending. And for a lot of you, this ending is setting you free. It really is, yeah. There's patience here. Patience as you embrace your prosperity, as you embrace the sweetness and the fruits of your labor. You've been planting this seed. You've been you've been planting this seed, you've been growing this, this tree for quite some time, right? And now it's time to reap the rewards of what you have sowed, to reap the rewards of what you have nurtured and manifested within your life. You are moving forward in that bounty. You are moving forward in that beauty. You can rush it. You definitely can. You can pick all the fruit before it's ready, cut it all up, put sugar on it. It'll be crunchy, but it'll still be good. But if you wait for that fruit to be ripe, it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be sweet and delicious. And that's what I see here. You moving forward in that sweet deliciousness, in that bounty and in that beauty of your harvest, of what it is that you've spent so much time cultivating and manifesting within your life. So when it comes to love, you are closing the door on something and you are embracing the bounty of something greater. Eight of Wands. There's a change that's coming in. You have the repeat of the number eight. This is a time where you are being very logical about things, Scorpio, it, it almost feels as if you're being a bit detached, okay? Because there's so much on your plate, there's so much that needs to be done, and what I'm going to tell you is don't be detached. Don't let yourself embrace the feelings of what you want. Let yourself embrace the future that you want, because here you're moving forward. Here there is a sense of things changing quickly when it comes to love, when it comes to where it is that you want to be, but you need to step back and you need to take it all in. You need to say, am I ready for this? You know, is this where I want to be? Is this how I want to move forward? You're going to see this change guiding you. And then you have the page of pentacles, not page, the knight of pentacles here, slowly and steadily moving forward towards your bounty, towards your beauty, towards what it is that you want. Okay, nothing and no one is going to hold you back. This is an earth sign energy. For some of you, you're working away from an earth sign energy. For some of you, you're having a change come with this earth sign energy leading you forward. 
you're going to want things to move a lot, a heck of a lot more quickly than they are when it comes to love, when it comes to where it is that you want to be within your love, within your life. But have patience. That's what you're crowned with. You're crowned with patience because when you get there, it will be sweet and it will be rewarding. At your root, the four of swords. You need to step back. You need to breathe. And you need to connect with spirit. Because here, this almost feels as if you've been through a war. And that's what the Four of Swords represents. It represents a time of battle and resting from that time of battle. In Celtic times, not Celtic times, but in medieval times, when a knight came back from battle, he usually would lay within his coffin. And that's how this card is represented in the Rider Waite Smith deck. It's represented with a coffin with four, this would be four, with four swords hanging above it. So the knight would lay in his coffin and think of all the ways that he should not have come back from war and giving thanks to all the ways that he did come back from war. And here there is one woman who is a warrior. You see her chainmail on, her armor on. And she is out within the wilderness, within, you know, nature. She has over her head this veil that she has held up by the swords. This is saying that spirit for me, this is saying that spirit is trying to connect with you through your dreams, giving you wisdom, giving you guidance to move you forward. You're going to have a sense of kind of a breakthrough moment, a light bulb moment, an aha moment that comes through your dreams. And that truth will lead you to the place that you want to be, to the place that you need to be. But you have to have this connection with spirit. You have the... You have the angels watching over you here. You have the angels watching over you here too. They're what roots you. You're rooted in the earth. You're rooted in Mother Earth. Because here, this tree, this tree is, is a woman, is a nymph. And when the winter melts and when the spring comes, you will feel that you have come into your power even more. So once you have walked away, once you have been through this dark night of the soul, you will feel as if you've come into your power more, as if you know more about yourself, as if you know more about love and where it is that you want to be and what it is truly that your heart and soul de desires. Then you have the essence of you coming. This is you shining through, Scorpio. This is your essence. This is your truth. You connect with spirit on a profound way because here, white dogs with red ears in Celtic mythology represent dogs of the fairy world. So you are moving forward with that knowledge and with that truth. Spirit is guiding you. You are seeing more than with just your eyes. You are seeing with your heart. You are moving forward slowly and steadily to where your soul desires being. There's a strong, strong, strong earth sign presence. And then you have an Aquarius coming through. This is the Aquarius time frame is January 20th to February 18th. This is a celebration of soul and self. This is your voice being heard. This is you being sent out into the world. Okay? This is you sending your voice out into the world. You know what it is that you want now more than ever before, Scorpio. And when it comes to love, you have been through trials and tribulations. You have thought that you would never find the love that you want. Or you have thought that, you know, if you are in a relationship, you might, for some of you, you've thought that this person would wake up one day and realize that they could have done better. And that's a bold-faced lie. And you have to stop telling yourself that. That might be for one very specific Scorpio who's out there. You have to stop. Because you are powerful, you are beautiful, you are profound, okay? And you are moving forward. Do not profane the love that you have. Do not sit there and think that you're not worthy of it because you are. And if you're sitting here thinking, Okay, this is really nice, Dane, but I'm never going to be in the relationship that I want to be. No, don't do that to yourself because you have just negated everything. You have just taken away everything. You do deserve to be in love. And that can be very much what some of you are walking away from. That sense of doubt, that sense of fear. You have the universe opening up to you. Celebration. Your ships are coming in. You're seeing things move forward. And you are healing. You're moving forward with love. This is a cancer energy. This is June 21st to July 22nd. Okay? 
this is the time period that you're healing from, the one that we just come, came out of. Here, the universe opens up to you. Change happens. You're walking away from something that's not right for you, and you're embracing your truth. That's how you're moving forward in love. You're moving forward in love because you're taking your power back. For some of you, you've given your power away. For others of you, you've never really felt that you had it. And now you're knowing here the love that you want, where it is that you want to be, where it is that you need to be, body, mind, and spirit, to embrace your soul, to embrace yourself. You're crowned with patience and the universe. Patience, because you need to be kind to yourself. Patience, because you've worked so hard to cultivate the truth and the prosperity that you want within your life. The universe, because the world is opening up to you. You are no longer this being of limitations. You are this incorporeal being of snow and of air, moving you forward to the truth and the prosperity that you want. You're going to find that doors start opening to you that you never thought possible. You're going to find that your life starts moving forward in ways that you, you never dreamed you could. You've always, not always, but for some reason here, Scorpio, I'm seeing limitations. And you are rising past limitations now to claim your power. That is crowning you. At your heart, you're walking away from something. You're walking away from something that isn't right for you anymore. It isn't part of you anymore. And then here, you have your ships coming in. You have, you know, you're sending your ships out. Your ships are coming in. You're seeing the difference of things. There is someone, there's something within your life that's going to come in that's going to surprise you. And as you are embracing the surprise, you're going to see that you start awakening. You start healing. Okay? You need to heal. You need to take care of you. And as you take care of you, you... You rein in your emotions and you move forward. Now, you have two people here. Well, you have actually, everybody's kind of forming around you. You have a strong Aquarius presence, okay, that's setting you free. You have a strong Earth sign presence, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Not as strong as the Aquarius or the Cancer, but still strong. In this line, it goes the Death card. King of Pe Knight of Pentacles, there we go, the Three of Wands, and the Chariot. So you also have this connection with you to Cancer. All right? So here, emotions run high, yes. But you're going to see that you rein in your emotions. There's a sense of moving forward. There's a sense of moving past stagnation. Okay? You have felt like you were stuck for quite some time, and now you're moving past that feeling of being stuck. All right? You are changing things. The world is opening up to you. Everything is changing. You are walking away from what no longer suits you. And you are embracing your soul and yourself. As you send your voice out into the universe, you walk away from pains and hurts of the past to embrace, slowly and steadily embrace, the love that you want, the joy that you want within your life. Okay? And I'm going to use my Green Witch Tarot deck because what I want to see... Is show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly the meaning of the star card for Scorpio. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly the star card for Scorpio's August love reading. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Okay, that is where we're going to stop. At the heart of it, it's new beginnings, new passions coming your way. Your voice is being heard. I want to see how you're sending yourself out into this universe. You're crowned here by the Knight of Athames, by the Knight of Swords. All right, This is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, shining through. So a strong Aquarius connection here with new beginnings, guiding you forward, leading you forward. Then you have the Three of Pentacles. Prosperity coming in. You're, being, you're becoming part of something greater, and luck is guiding you. Not that. There we go. You have the Empress, Earth Mother. Moving forward in love. Moving forward in joy. Embracing what it is that you desire. Okay? You're grounded in the Earth and the Earth is blessing you. When it comes to love, you are being blessed. You are being energized. You are creating the love that you want within your life. Ace of Pentacles. 
happiness, prosperity, abundance. Remember, true love is worth its weight in gold, and it's coming your way. The Holy King. The Holy King. This is the Hermit. This is turning inward. You have majesty guiding you. If you can see that stag right there. All right. Majesty is guiding you. You're lighting your way. This is a Virgo energy, August 23rd to September 22nd. So last part of August is going to be a time of introspection, is going to be a time of embracing your power. It is going to be a time of knowing your truth. The fool, the green man, you're moving forward. You're, you're embracing what it is that you want. You're taking a leap of faith upon yourself. As you do so, you come to a crossroads. And you sit and you decide where it is that you need to be, what it is that you want, soul and self, as you move forward. And then you have the two of wands. I'm sorry, the three of wands. The three of wands is a journey coming. Something spectacular is coming your way, Scorpio. The knight of chalice, that's you. The knight of cups. You are embracing this new journey. You are embracing this way of moving forward. You are moving forward body, mind, and spirit, embracing your soul, embracing yourself. Your subconscious message here is the three of athames. You are moving past sorrow. There has been so much sorrow in your life when it comes to love that now you are moving past it. And you are claiming your truth. You're claiming where it is that you need to be, what it is that you desire. But you have to let yourself mourn the past that you have been through. You have to let yourself embrace the eight of cups and walk away. Because it's only by walking away from the pain that you have had within your life, that you are going to embrace the love that you desire, your fairy guidance. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Show me clearly. Scorpio, August 2019, love. Scorpio, August 2019, love. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. This one right here, meditation. And this says, meditation will bring you clarity of mind and a sense of inner peace. Be sure to meditate. Be sure to connect with your inner self. Then we have, oh, well, I guess it's this one, happiness. And this says happiness is the overall state of complete being. That's what you're going after. You're going after your inner happiness, your soul's happiness that is leading you forward. Then we have your witchling cards. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Scorpio, August, love, 2019. Scorpio, August, love, 2019. This card right here, serenity. And it says, a spirit of serenity brings calmness and clarity of all that is. So you are moving forward in a sense of clarity to what it is that you want. You are moving forward connecting to what your soul wants. And when it comes to love, you are finding a love that resonates with you, body, mind, and spirit. The color that shines through here is orange. That's healing and cleansing the sacral chakra which is where a lot of negativity from this life and past lives are held. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. This one right here, happiness. Again, you have double happiness here. This says, if, if happiness is what you want, then happy you shall be. If you want to be happy, you are moving forward in this happiness and you will manifest this happiness within your life. But celebrate the happy moments. Celebrate your joyous moments. The color that shines through here is green. That's healing and cleansing your heart chakra is going to bring the happiness, the joy, and the prosperity that you want within your life. Your subconscious message for this whole entire reading is the five of wands. You're done with fighting. Scorpio, you are done. Now it is time to claim your truth. Now it is time to claim your power. Internally, you might feel like there is chaos within you internally. Externally, you might f have felt that love has always been a battlefield. Well, now you are the winner of this battle. And now you are moving forward as this earth mother right here. As you send your voice into the universe, you claim your truth. You claim your power. There is nothing and no one that is going to stop you. Right? You are embracing the essence of yourself. And as you embrace the essence of yourself, you will see that the discord starts to fall away. You're seeing with more than just your eyes. You're embracing with more than just your soul. Your heart is leading you forward. And you're finding that guidance, that guidance of spirit is bringing you to what you truly love, is bringing you to the place that you truly love being. And you are absolutely embracing it. All right, Scorpio, 
I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. It is always a pleasure reading for you. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for giving this reading a thumbs up, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'll be reading for you all really, really soon. Bye, guys.